Hello lovelies, this is Megan from Little Hot Tamale and today we're making a file folder album. So go get your craft supplies and let's get started. Okay, so open up your file folder and take the bottom edge and bring it to the center fold. Then you're going to flip your file folder over and fold again and then flip it one last time and fold again. All right. I'm just taking my bone folder and making the edges nice and crisp. So when you kind of fold it all together, it kind of looks like an accordion. Next we are going to measure off 6 inches from the edge and this is going to be the width of our book. Now if you don't want it to be 6 inches, it can be shorter or longer depending on how large your file folder is. Now this middle section we're going to cut out but don't throw this piece away because we are going to use it later on in our album. I also wanted to point out that you can make this into a pen pal file folder for your snail mail friends. I do it all the time and they turn out super cute. Alright, so now you want to fold in your flaps into the main part of your album where it's 6 inches wide. Okay, so that middle section where it's pink, we're going to glue it on the back side, those two pieces, and that is going to be a pocket. And then just set it aside until it's dry. For the cover, I thought it'd be fun to add a crepe paper element. So I'm just going to take my crepe paper and cut off about a quarter of an inch and lay some rickrack on top. For something different, I decided to sew the crepe paper and rickrack together. So I placed both items underneath the presser foot and did a back stitch to lock it in place. And I slowly did a straight stitch for 4 inches. And I stopped occasionally to feed some extra crepe paper underneath to make it have the ruffle effect. And then when I made it to the end, I did a back stitch again. And the reason I did a back stitch was because I had ribbon. If I didn't have the ribbon and just paper, I would just do a plain straight stitch because it would eat a hole into the paper. Hopefully I explained that well enough for you guys. It was kind of hard to explain it and I kept getting tongue tied. <laughs> but yeah, it's all good. <laughs> If you don't have a sewing machine, no worries, you can still achieve the same effect with crepe paper and adhesive. And I usually use terrifically tacky tape to create that effect. So you just lay down your adhesive and then you do the ruffle effect with the crepe paper. I will leave a link in the description of the tutorial where I teach you how to create the ruffle effect without adhesive if you are not familiar with that technique. And for the cover, I decided to use the word dream and I spelled it out using thickers in the color doll and it's a beautiful pink color. The corner kind of seemed empty because I want to spell out dream in the center so I'm going to put an element at the top and I thought a butterfly would be appropriate so I'm just using some terrifically tacky tape on the back and then just kind of do the messy thread look and stick it to it. And I find that's the easiest way to do the messy thread look. And in the other corner, I thought it needed just a little something else, so I'm using a bow that was gifted from Roxy Fur, one of my friends on YouTube, and I'm just going to do a heart center. And pop it up with foam tape. And I think it looks so cute on the cover. Along with the butterfly and the dream. Okay, so for the inside, we are going to use a lot of Project Life cards. Now, if you don't have Project Life cards, that's okay. You can just use scrapbook paper. So I'm just cutting a 4x6 Project Life card, and I'm going to make a belly band. 
so you just want to use adhesive on one side and I didn't want to measure everything so I'm just going to use the adhesive on the other side and then just trim off the excess. And for some fun embellishments, I'm just going to fussy cut some images out of my project's life cards. I just love doing this, especially when I have quite a few of the same cards. I don't know if you noticed this, but I didn't get my belly band centered on my page. One way to make it less noticeable is to make a cluster that is off-centered. So I'm using three different size rosettes and I'm putting it onto the side and it kind of overlaps onto the main page. If you would like to learn how to make these crepe paper rosettes, I have a tutorial in my Build Your Stash series. So I'll leave the link down below in the description if you would like to check it out. Okay, so we're going to make something kind of fun. We are going to make faux grass. And my grass is pink because that goes with my theme and why not? Pink is awesome. <laughs> so I just used the washi tape on cardstock and used my zigzag scissors or pinking shears on one edge and took some scissors and just kind of did some slits on all of the inventions. There you go, our first layer of faux grass. And we're just going to repeat the step one more time. And this time I'm using a different shade of pink. But you don't have to, you can just use the same color if you want. I thought it'd just be fun to have a different shade. Kind of makes it more 3D, I guess. <laughs> And use my tacky glue and glue it down. Now it's time to decorate our sky. So for mine, I'm going to use a doily. No shocker there. <laughs> and I'm just going to use tacky glue here and there to tack it down. And then on top of that, we're not to that part yet, but on the other side, we're going to use an element from one of our Project Life cards. And this is some awesome washi tape that I found at Hobby Lobby. I thought it was just the cutest. It's Ticket Washi Tape, which you probably figured that out. <laughs> and I'm just using my zigzag scissors and my straight edge scissors to make it look more like a ticket. And I put that on cardstock. All right, and I'm just going to layer that on the doily. And for a more natural look, I punched out a star from some cork stickers. And for the major element on our page, I'm using a bike and it's from Roxy. Now if you don't have this die cut, you can always make a flower garden. I think that would be super cute and be appropriate with the grass. And if you don't have doilies, you can make clouds or something like that. It'd be really cute. Just get creative with it. <laughs> For a little bit of extra sparkle, I'm using some gemstones from Hobby Lobby. Oh my goodness, I just bought this punch and I absolutely love it. It's by Tim Holtz and it's a bow. And I just love wrapping metallic thread around the center portion of it. And I think it looks so cute and dainty on just like little elements like on the top of the little die cut that we cut out of the Project Life cards. See? So cute! <laughs> For our next page, we are going to create a pocket and I'm just using a Project Life card again and just cutting off the edges just a little bit. And I just made some little lines to measure where I'm going to put the glue. For a pocket, I thought it'd be fun to include an envelope 
So I'll just leave a free printable down below so you can create the same exact size as this one if you want. And just to dress it up just a little bit, I put a little bit of washi tape and some typed out words that are backed with some gold washi. And it says, the perfect day. Some fun things that you can put in your envelope are pictures, maybe some receipts, or if it's for your pen pal, you can include your letter in there. Alright, so our pocket's dry, so it's time to trim off the edges. Now I think our pocket needs just a little bit more pizzazz, so I'm just going to punch out a heart, and then just do a little cluster with some washi, and then the word inspire. So I feel like that goes well with the word dream on the cover. And then one last thing for our lion. I have to use our bow. <laughs> it looks so cute. So um, I think my lion's going to have it on top of his head. Yes, it looks super cute. He looks very dashing. <laughs> <laughs> and then on the right side of our project, it's really bare, so I'm going to use a Project Life card, a die cut, and then this cute tap. And I have a whole episode about how to make DIY tabs. If you want to check it out, I'll leave the link down below. <laughs> and I'm just going to just trim off a little bit off the top and the bottom to make it fit better and then layer that element on top of the flip page and then the tap. And then to make it more of a flip, we're just going to use a washi tape. Now I'm just gonna point out, since this washi tape has gold foil on it, it's not very sticky. So you might add just a little bit of glue to make it stick. And this is also one of my new punches, the deer head. And I found it at Hobby Lobby clearanced out for like $7. But I'm kind of disappointed with the quality. It doesn't punch very well. It only punches through thin paper. And then if you try to punch it through cardstock, it kind of munches it, if you know what I mean. It kind of doesn't have a clear, crisp cut. So yeah, it's just a so-so purchase. A fun way to kind of fill up a dead space like all the pink area we're going to make a banner so you're just going to take some washi tape and cut out little triangles and there you go a banner and underneath your little flap you can put a picture or a little note to your pen pal depending on what you're making your file folder as and if you're not familiar with these embellishments, I call these halvesies. And I just punched out a circle and did a half a circle on the other side. All right, so it's time for our next page. So we're going to use another doily. Imagine that. And then the little excess piece, I'm gonna put it on the side. And I'm just going to trim it just a little bit more. And we're going to create another flip page with a Project Life card. But this time on the back side, we're going to create a tiny pocket. First, we're going to create a hinge with our washi tape on the front. And then we're going to add some more washi on the inside flap. And don't forget to include just a little bit of glue if you're using washi that isn't very sticky. And then for our pocket, I'm just using another Project Life card because it's exactly the same size. And I'm just going to glue around the edges except for the top. And there you go, a super easy pocket. And I'm just going to decorate with some leftover doily on the side. And on the corner, we are going to create a washi cluster. And to do that, I'm just using three different types of washi, 
at three different lengths and I'm just layering them on top of each other. I also thought it would be fun to include a miniature envelope and I'll leave the printable for that down below if you'd like to check it out and make one too. To decorate the envelope, I'm just using a Tim Holtz bow and I just punched that out of some old book paper. Alright, so we're almost done with this page. For the inside of our pocket, I'm just going to include a ticket and a shipping tag. I also thought it'd be fun to include an inspirational quote, so I put, Don't tell people your dreams, show them. And I thought that went well with our title, Dream, on our cover of our album. And on the bottom, I included the word love because I thought it looked beautiful on the Project Life card. And for our next page, we are going to create a bottom pocket. So we're using the leftover part of our Project Life card that we've been using. And I'm just going to glue the sides and the bottom. And once it's dry, I'll just cut off the excess. And for this page, we're just going to keep the embellishing to a minimum. So I thought a cute bow would look adorable on the pocket. And I have a tutorial on this, and it's part of my Build Your Stash series. <laughs> Again. And I'll just leave the link down below if you want to check it out and learn how to make those bows. We are finally on our last two pages. I feel like we should throw a party. <laughs> Alright, so for our base of our pages, we're just going to use some more doilies. Because this will be a repeating element through our entire file folder it more cohesive and I'm just putting one on one corner the other one on the opposite corner and there's one at the very bottom where our envelope is so it kind of makes a triangle so your eye kind of goes from one side to another to all the way to the bottom now we're going to create a super easy pocket and I love making these. I'm just using a 3x4 card and I'm just going to score at 3 eighths, 3 eighths, and at a quarter inch. Now if you don't have a scoreboard that's okay, you can just fold the edges in and they don't have to be exact. I was just showing you what I did for my measurements. And there you go, a simple pocket. I'm going to use a little bit of terrifically tacky tape to adhere my pocket. But you can just use glue, it doesn't matter. I just didn't feel like holding it in place until it dried. And then for the inside of our pocket, I'm going to create these little, I don't know what they're called, I'm going to call them matchsticks because that's what they kind of look like. <laughs> Mine measure about a little less than three-fourths of an inch by four inches and then for the tops I use three-fourths of an inch by two and a half inches. Now you're just going to fold the little pieces in half and those are going to be the toppers of your your matchstick. <laughs> See they look like matchsticks <laughs> or matches. Matchsticks? I, I don't know. <laughs> anyway there you go, you can make them as thin as you want or as wide. And to make them a little bit cuter, I'm putting a butterfly on them. Another fun thing to use are gemstones, but I kind of wanted to keep my book as flat as possible, so that's why I chose butterflies or paper elements. <laughs> and for the outside, I wanted to use some large letters or numbers in this case. And the ink I'm using is Gray Flannel by Memento. Now, if you don't have a large number stamp, you can always freehand the number. And right now, I'm creating a halfsy with a heart. So, I'm just taking a heart punch, and then I'm punching a half of a heart, and then gluing them together.
And there you go. I have a larger heart and a smaller heart and then the large number. And it kind of balances everything out on the pocket. And a cute Polaroid and a tassel paper clip. And if you want to learn how to make those, you can just check out my series, Build Your Stash. And our last decorative element of this page are some Havsy circles that we use earlier as well. All right, we're on our final thing. We're going to use that piece that we cut out of our file folder at the very beginning of the video. And we're just going to cut it down a little bit so that it fits inside of our pocket. And just to give it a little fun touch, we're going to add some ribbon and we're going to staple it on and there you go. Now you know how to make a file folder mini album or a pin pal flip book. If you decide to make some of these, I would love to see them. So you can either show me on Instagram and use the hashtag Little Hot Tamale or join the Facebook group Little Hot Tamale and Friends. I hope to see you guys there and if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I hope you have an amazing day. Toodles!